Hello and welcome to Maker Hanger. My name is Lucas Weekly, and today we're going to be going over what the Maker Trainer 2 is and some of the improvements that I made from the original Maker Trainer to now the new one. I'll also be showing you what's going to be inside of the kit, so let's get started. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure you're all aware of the original Maker Trainer from last summer. There were a bunch of people who made them and shared their pictures and video on the Maker Hanger Google Plus page. It was really awesome to see all you guys building my design and modifying it to be your own. I tried my best to take in all the feedback that you sent me about the original Maker Trainer, and then I took what I learned and redesigned it completely. The Maker Trainer 2 is much smaller than its predecessor. With a wingspan of only 30 inches, it can be cut out of two sheets of foam board. Because the plane is lighter, it can fly slower. This gives you more time to react when flying the airplane. Also, because of the smaller form factor, the plane is incredibly durable. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. If the prop's still spinning, I am flying it. It's flyable! Well, it might not fly as well as it used to. I still wanted to keep the motor in the back, so if you did take a nose dive into the ground, the motor would be protected. This gives the additional feature of having an unobstructed nose for mounting a camera and for flying FPV. Where I had the most room to improve was in the construction of the Maker Trainer. Don't get me wrong, the original Maker Trainer is still a great airplane. It flies really well in the wind and can glide forever with the power off. Okay, to start off, this plane is entirely made out of foam. There is no wood or carbon supports needed. Some people were having a hard time finding the correct wooden dowel rod for the tail boom and either making it too short or too long, which would completely throw off the balance of the airplane. Also, the plane can be made with other types of foam. This was heavily requested by all the people who were building the Maker Trainer in other countries, where they don't have access to the Adams Ready board that we use here in the US. We're staying clear of the covering tape in this season because it added a ton of time to the build on the previous Maker Trainer. Instead, I'll be showing you how to properly paint a foam airplane so you can make really cool and colorful designs. The PDF plans for this year cover everything, so there is not a part where you have to go and watch the videos and interpret what I'm saying to be successful when building this airplane. Like last year on shaping the aileron for the main wing of the Maker Trainer. Also, when building this plane, there is no edge to surface joints. This was a problem last year with the vertical stabilizer always peeling off the top top of the elevator on the original Maker Trainer. Another issue that was addressed was floppy control surfaces, especially in the elevator and rudder. This was caused by extended control linkages, and on the Maker Trainer 2, all the servos are very close to the control surfaces that they move. This plane requires no measuring at all. Either everything lines up to an edge, or like on the fuselage, is guided in by slots. Now, there's always going to be a give and take, and for an airplane to be this small, slow flying, and durable, it does get thrown around by the wind a bit more than its larger brother. However, in high speed maneuvers, the Maker Trainer 2 is able to cut through the wind and fly normally. And if you're a beginner and wanted to fly slow, you probably wouldn't be flying in the wind anyway. Like with the Tricopter, we'll be selling a hardware kit for the Maker Trainer 2. The kit will include a 3D printed motor mount and control horns, along with the nuts and bolts to hold on the motor, the music wire for the control linkages, and easy connectors for the servo arms to make the job of zeroing out the control surfaces so much easier. You still have to supply your own foam and electronics, but altogether the plane shouldn't cost you much more than $100. Links are available below in the description for the Maker Trainer 2 kit, along with all the additional electronics and materials you'll need, and the PDF plans for this airplane. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how to build the entire airplane and getting it ready to fly. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.